Okay, good morning guys. I wanted to show you today what been added what I've added to the Barn Plans library today. So Gambrel Barn. I put plans in there and this 3D model. There is no materials list for this barn though. Um, but if you've got the 3D model, you can just go through and measure, take measurements. Uh, you know, measure the size of the beam. That one's 14 foot. Kind of generate your own materials list on this one. Um, uh, I may. I may make a materials list for it if I have time, but right now I don't. But I wanted to throw that in there as a bonus plan for you guys, uh, just so that you can uh, uh, take advantage of this huge barn. So that's one thing. And uh, if we open a new file here, this is the exciting part. I'm going to show you guys how you can, with the components that I've put into the library, which a component is a just a part of a barn that uh, you can design yourself. So let me show you how to do that. So what you would do is you would open a window. We're, we're in SketchUp, uh, Trimble SketchUp, in case you wondered. You should have links to download this program in your library. And uh, it's a free program, so it doesn't cost anything extra. And uh, it allows you to draw pretty much anything you want in 3D. So, um, so open that program, and then what you need to do once you download your uh, your uh, your file of components and extract the file. So you have to unzip the file so that you can um, so that you can put the components into SketchUp. If you need help doing that, uh, there's lots of YouTube videos that will help you. Maybe I'll put some in the members area or get somebody that knows kind of how to unzip folders and that type of thing. It's, it's simple to do once you understand the concept, but I'm not going to go into that into this video. But So what I'm going to do is we're going to open uh, components window. And you'll see I've already got these in here, but what you got to do is you got to click on this details tab here and it'll say open or create a local collection so you click on that and then it'll open up your drive basically so what I need to do is I need to go to Toshiba that's my hard drive and go till I scroll and see uh, my component 16 yours will say something more like it's even in here well one file will say timbers and the other file will say bents uh, but mine says this so we'll open that and it'll it'll load that component file folder right into your window here so then you can see you've got all these different components in basically alphabetical numerical order um, what is really exciting about this is I've made some bents ahead of time that you can use to create your own barn design however you want it. And this is how this would work. So we've got 24 foot gable bent, we've got a 20 foot gable bent, um, 18 foot, 16 foot gables, 16 foot gambrel. I've got a lot of gables, some gambrels in here. I'll work on more as time goes by. Um, there's a 30 foot gable, 36 foot gable, 36 foot gambrel. Uh, these are all the widths of the barns. And then I've got all these different uh, individual uh, timbers. Uh, this is a 3 by 10, 3 by 12. 3 by 4, 3 by 6, 3 by 8. Oh, and I've got a 42 foot high top vent horse barn, that type of thing. Um, 
I'll be adding more of these vents as time goes on, of course, to the library. And there's you know different components of a vent in here. So individual boards and timbers, any size that I've created, just about any size you can imagine. Um, there's also a large cupola and uh, you know posts, queen posts, um, items with you know the rafters already, angles on the rafters, that type of thing. So sill beams, just about every component component that you would need. Well, really every component that you would need to create a vent from scratch and then build, you know, design your own barn. Now, the barns that you design with my components are not, you know, I guess sanctioned by the Barn Geek unless you send me the design and I, and, and, and I take a look at it and approve it. Uh, whatever you design is, is your baby. So when you build it, you build that at your own risk. So which is true with all of our plans. You, whatever you build, you build at your own risk. I can't be responsible for what you do on your job site. You know. So anyway, here, let's kind of demo what you would do, how easy it would be to model your own barn. Let's say, let's start with something simple, 16 foot gable bank. Click on that and just drag it right into the uh, window and go to the origin point right there and click it. Okay, so you've got your first bent. So now you wonder, well, how big do I want to make this barn? So we got it 18 feet wide so far. So let's say you want to make this thing, let's grab a rectangle here, 18 by 40, let's say. Start drawing a rectangle, doesn't matter what size. Click it out here. And down here in the dimensions area, you want to enter your dimensions. See right now it's 108 by 90, it's ridiculous. So what you want to do is you just type 18 feet, comma, 40 feet, enter. Now, it went the wrong way, so we have to switch that around. Go 40 feet, comma, 18 feet, enter. Okay, so that fixed it. Oh, that was a 16 foot vent, sorry. Well, we can fix that pretty easy. Let's, uh, this, uh, let's just draw a line right here. Easier to do. Okay, we've erased that, erased that little line. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to select this, triple click it, right click, make this a component or a group, either way, doesn't really matter. You want this to not stick to the rest of your geometry. So, um, you want to grab your tape measure tool. I think they've changed some things about SketchUp. Anyway, start right here at the front line of this component you've created. Click on that and then drag backwards along the red axis. Make sure this make sure this is red right here. You want to type in 10 feet. 10 feet. Enter. Okay. That's your first center point of your second bend. You just want to continue to do that. 10 feet. Now it should, after you've done that once, it should automatically snap to 10 feet. Then you just click to, to, to set it there. Do it again, and then you've got the layout lines for all your bents. Hit the select tool, grab the bent, M for move, grab the front corner, move the bent, and hit control to copy it. Drop it down on that line. Now we're going to have to zoom in because it's not where we want it. We want it to be centered on that line. So we got to grab the midpoint, move it back basically three inches. And boom, it's there. Now, we can grab that midpoint again. Grab that midpoint again. Move the bent. Hit control again. Uh, so then we've copied the bent again. And then move it to this point. To that center line. And then just do that again. Control. Drop it here. Uh, 
now we want to grab the edge because this is going to go to the end. Now you might be asking a lot of you guys that know SketchUp, know how to do stuff like this, why don't I just make an array? Well, an array makes things spaced out evenly. We don't want this spaced evenly. We want this from 10 foot outside to center, this first bay, and then the inside bays, 10 foot center to center, center to center, and then this final one, 10 foot outside to center. Uh, if we made it all even, this would be six inches too long, or the bents would be spaced in a way where the lumber using lumber didn't make sense. You'd have, instead of using 10 foot girts, you'd be using 9 foot, 9 inch girts or something like that. So this is the way it works out best. So that way you have even spacing. So you've got a 10, say you've got a uh, vent, or a, well, let's grab one here. Let's grab a 2x6 here. 2x6. And it should be 10 foot long if I remember correctly. Grab this, drag it into your program, or into your model, drop it right there on the post. Now you can see it's, it's inset, so we want to bring that out. So we'll use the move tool and grab this corner, bring it out, drop it right there. And you can see this girt is 10 feet long so it goes from the outside of this bent to the center of this one. Now what you would do, grab the move tool again, grab this corner of this component, start dragging it this way, hit control to copy it, and then drop it right there. Now you can see you've got a 10 foot girt here, it goes from outside to center, and then your next bay has a 10 foot girt from center to center. So this makes it so when you're building this barn you can cut all of your side girts to 10 feet exactly and be able to put them up. It just makes things more efficient and quicker. Also it makes your posts fall exactly on 40 feet instead of 40 foot 6 inches or 40 foot 9 inches or whatever it would come out to be. So that's why we do that. But so you continue to do that, and then you you know pull them up and, and make them spaced at two feet on center. Uh, I'm not going to go deeply into how to build a barn or how to model a barn on this video. Um, there'll be more videos, instructional videos on that coming up. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what you'll be able to do. So you basically very quickly created a a barn frame that you can uh, customize. I mean you can come in here and I'll show you how to do this later and make these posts longer or shorter um, make this you know raise this up make these posts longer on the top move this this uh, I'll show you how to do that move this uh, move these components around you know uh, do all kinds of customizing with this uh, with this setup so you can pretty much do any kind of thing you want so you want say you wanted to move that up here like that there you, then you can do that I moved it up let's say two feet type in two feet enter right there okay so you've got two foot of extra clearance in here and uh, of course you'll have to shorten these posts you know double click on those come in here rotate it around grab the push pull push that up to this point and there you go you've got shortened you know, you're going to have less loft space on this but you've got more space down below depending on where your goals are so anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoy these uh, uh, additions to the barn plans library and uh, have fun with them, play around with them, design your barns however you want. SketchUp is really fun to play with and with all these components that uh, you'll have ready to go you'll be able to make just about anything you want. Um, 
again, I'll be adding more fence as time goes on and, uh, and that I have time to do it. So, uh, have a great day. Thanks for becoming a member of the Barn Plains Library. If you're not a member already and you want to take advantage of this, check out uh, check the Barn Plains Library out. I'll, I'll have a link either down below or in the description. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. And have a great day. Thanks.